this is so annoying, but, um, so the Foster family had a kid named Tiffany, and she's a complete psychopath, like, there's something wrong with her, and she'll never be normal, and because of it, like, the Foster family wanted me to be just as bad as her, and they were lying to people, and I don't know why they believed them. Honestly, like, people are so naive in Canada, like, it's not even funny. Like, they just believe anybody, they believe anything, and they're like, why would your family lie about you? And I'm like, because not everyone comes from a good family, and also, they're not even related to me. Also, I don't know why, their actual kid is a sack of shit, so they don't like the fact that I'm not a sack of shit, just like their kid. Like, it makes them feel bad or something. I don't fucking know. They're not, none of them are normal, but Tiffany's the actual psychopath. Um, psychopaths being, like, um, the completely shallow, superficial, unable to lead a normal life, etc., etc. The police here are also all psychopaths. They don't know that. But they were trying to convince me I was a psychopath just like them. This is something I've noticed consistently with psychopaths. That they like to convince other people who they admire that they like, that they're just as psychopathic as they are. I don't know why that is. It's just, it's just weird. I, I don't understand it, but that's the whole reason for psychopaths, is that people don't understand them. Like, they don't make any sense. And the only reason they do anything is to make sure that they, like, they get bored very quickly. Um, so their stimulation needs are, like... You know how some people, they get bored and they like to, like, watch movies or watch TV shows or, like, they go for a walk or they read a book? Okay, with a psychopath, like, them getting bored includes, like, getting destructive, so, like, they would start, like, doing drugs or, like, um, I don't know, going out and, like, speeding or, like, um, like, in their car or, like, they would, like, go and, like, make sure that, like, people would, like, I don't know. I don't know how else to explain it. Like, they start, start stalking people. They start, like, uh, making up reasons to go to protests and, like, start, like, fights there. Like, um, they go to bars, pick fights with people at the bar, that kind of stuff. Those are psychopaths. Um, every single one of them is a psychopath. All the police. Um, I'm starting to suspect every Canadian government worker is a psychopath. Not a sociopath. And also, like, they can't live a normal life. Like, they can't have friends. They have a hard time maintaining relationships. Um, every time they get bored, they get they ruin one of the relationships because they're bored. They're like dogs, except like stupider than dogs. Um, another psychopath is um. Yeah, the glibness and superficial charm. So like, they like to like pretend or feign like knowing how to. The only reason they even socialize is to make somebody feel bad about themselves or to target or bully humiliate or degrade another human being that's a psychopath um i don't know why well again they're not smart that's the dead giveaway they're very stupid they're incredibly stupid they're selfish like they're completely useless but then, like, you know how some people are like that, but, like, they're really nice people, or they're really, really good, or, like, they're really pleasant to be around, even though they don't do anything? Yeah, the psychopaths are a complete opposite, so you get to know them, and, like, all they want to do is, like, destroy things. You know, they're just weird. And, like, that's why the cops got involved, because, like, that's the only reason they believe her. It's because they're just as psychopathic as she is. And to them, it makes sense. And I was like, what? Yeah, but, um... Tiffany is a psychopath. She's literally insane. And, um, I don't know, like, they keep targeting people that, like, you know, like, every time I listen to an artist or something like that, they keep targeting those people. The police, um, some EMS personnel, um, all my old rapists who owe me money, um, Tiffany, the foster family, every single one of them actively targets people that I like to listen to, musicians that I like to listen to. And their reasoning is that it's because, um, they're trying to, like, notify them that I'm the crazy one. I'm like, that's why, I don't know, they're not normal, and I've noticed this to be a consistent pattern here since I got here. I think they're really jealous of me, I think that's what it is, and I think, um, every single person already saw that.
But I'm like, what do you want me to do? You know, like, they're so jealous of me, and I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Like, I get that, like, they don't feel good about themselves, and, like, every time they see me, it's, like, getting reminded that you'll never be as good as me or whatever. Because I don't do that. I don't do the cycle thing. It's, like, I don't go around harassing people and taking abuse of my authority and position. They do because they're shitty people, right? I mean, I think their need for power exceeds their capabilities. You know? And, like, they keep thinking that we're good friends or whatever. It's really creepy. I don't know what it is. Like, they're really, like, there's something wrong with them. Like, there's something not normal about those people, and I don't know why that this, like, I don't know why. They're bothering me! <laughs> I'm just like, leave me alone! <laughs> Holy shit. Excuse me. But yeah. If you want to know what a sociopath is, like, um, they're actually better than psychopaths, except sociopaths, they get into fits of rage when they are, like, encountering situations in which they are not familiar with or they don't personally agree with. And it doesn't always have, like, it's, like, anytime something goes wrong, you know, when things are out of their control is when they start getting into that rage mode. But the thing is, a lot of things outside of a person's, in a person's life, a lot of things are outside of a person's control. Right? It's like, okay, how are you going to live your life if you have to control every little aspect of every single thing that goes on in your life? When in, honest, in all honesty, you can't really control anything. I mean, you can control your own emotional responses. You can control, like, um, what you do per day. But, like, a lot of things are outside of your control. You know? You don't get to control all those things. So. But I'd rather, like, be near a sociopath than a psychopath. Because their fits of rage, I'm pretty sure, aren't. It's not target specific with psychopaths, it is. And, like, they don't know. That's the thing. Psychopaths can't seem to be able to comprehend that, that they're psychopathic. As in, they don't understand that it's them who that's the problem. It's always somebody else's fault. Even if they were the ones that were instigating it, if it even if it is their fault, they can't really understand it. It's always someone else's fault, you know? And it seems normal when you talk to them. It's just. There's no connection. You know, when you talk to somebody, you have like this kind of connection. You kind of, you both kind of understand each other or something like that. I don't know what it's called. Like, as in, like, there's no actual empathy. There we go. There's no empathy between the two people because the psychopath can't empathize. Right? Whereas the other person can. So you're like kind of like it's kind of weird right there's no empathy there's no like shared feelings there's nothing to bond the two of you together because the psychopath is always focused on getting being the dominant one the being the better one you know like those are the people who get jealous really quickly so um yeah I, i don't know what i'm supposed to do about this because i'm just like i never personally did any of those things and this is stuff that i personally value right and it's like okay like i don't really care about the money that you have or like the people you've met or like the things that you were involved in i just i don't care the fact is that like you're actively seeking to hurt me and you don't seem to be aware of this because you're a psychopath 